makes such a big fuss about turning 30. This is not a big deal. But as an blah. actress. Cut to 29. And I'm like, this is a woman in a midlife crisis. Like, oh my God, I feel so stressed and anxious. Wow. And I realize it's because there is suddenly this bloody influx mm -hmm. of subliminal messaging around. Mm -hmm. If you have not built a home, mm -hmm. if you do not have a husband, if you do not have a baby and you are turning 30, and you're not in some like incredibly like secure, stable mm -hmm. place in your career, or you're still figuring things out. There's just like this incredible amount of anxiety. You'll notice that men don't have that luxury. That's a, so this is a woman in a midlife crisis. Technically, the epiphany phase is probably as close to a midlife crisis as women are likely to get because they're on that downswing in their sexual market value right here. They're at that point where that midpoint right there between the blue and the, and the pink. It's the comparative value. That's when men and women are comparatively equal, equal in their in their sexual market value. He's on his way up. She's on her way down. But they hit that one kind of point. And that one point, by the way, happens to be the age that most men and women get married. That's why when men get married at 30, 31, whatever it is, 32, around that, you'll notice that the time that women go through their epiphany phase is also the time that they happen to get married most often. That's when it's like, okay, he'll do. Okay, I should be here. Oh my God. And it's not society and it's not subliminal messages. It's this acknowledgement of the wall. It's this acknowledgement that they don't have the same sexual capital that they did when they were 23 as they will at 33. They will not enjoy the same selectivity at 33 as they did at 23. So what do we do? In comes social conventions that shame men for not having their shit together when? By 30. That's why you want to go and you look at Matt Walsh and you look at all these guys, uh, anybody from Daily Wire, uh, Ben Shapiro, Candace Owens, whoever else, whatever, who, whatever the talking head is, the trad con talking head right now that's talking about how men ain't measuring up, this is what they're talking about. You haven't measured up because you haven't got to 30 years old. You, hell, you're 28 years old. You haven't gotten to that point yet where you're a good, you're an eligible bachelor. You're marriageable. You need to be marriageable. Nobody, no one from Candace Owens to, to anybody in tra any trad con that I know of is going to look at Emma Watson and say, yeah, she's wrong. Because they're going to say, I mean, maybe they will about the family part of it, but we don't tell women to think in terms of grand strategy, we don't tell women, hey, you know what? You're going to be 28, 29, 30, 31 years old, and you're going to be a fucking spinster. The likelihood of you finding a guy who can quote the Morgan Stanley, you know, rise of the fem or the, the she economy all day long. And by the way, it's Morgan Stanley for fuck's sake. Get that right. And we could talk about that. And we could talk about well, if, you know, women, like, was it by 2030, what is it? 42% of women will be single and childless. According to their prognostications, by the way, that's speculative. That's not like set in stone, but that's the direction. That's the you know forecast anyways, up to 2030 right now. Why is that? Well, maybe part of it is because we don't tell women to think in terms of grand strategy. What are you going to want for the rest of your life? Well, if you can't trust men for you know, long-term security, if you can't trust men to be there, to be responsible, competent, whatever, then you're going to have to do it yourself, baby. And that's why they can make that forecast. That's why they say invest in these companies, invest in these commodities, invest in these technologies. Chewy, cryogenic freeze for women's eggs, <laughs> sperm banks, in vitro fertilization technique but what birthing pods whatever the fuck it is right invest in those because women aren't, aren't going to want to fuck men any more than they want to fuck them now so everybody's screwed we're on a hellbound train degeneracy 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 <laughs> that's why nobody's shaming emma watson or women of that same same nature i'm going to answer a question from one of my good friends uh her name i've I'm going to, her, let's just, her name is Lauren. Okay. And then not Lauren Sanchez. And she was asking me a question about like, Rolo, is it too late for me to go from being like super masculinized to being feminine? Like to, how do I develop femininity? 
And I'm about to write her a response to this, but I think I'm just going to sort of like give you the cliff notes of it right now because it kind of dovetails into this, what I'm talking about here today. I've had to answer this question so often. And I tell you, I tried to like relate this on Dr. Phil and people just like looked at me like a fucking deer and I had doe eyed. Mm -hmm. Um, cause they just don't understand it. They, they, it's, they have no, no frame of reference, but like I have answered this question so often from uh, even Kiyosaki's people, his girls, right. They will say, Rolo, how do I get a man? How do I, how do I feminize myself? I'm like, okay, well, what have you done? Like, okay, well, I got my, I've got, they think that, you know, to be more alpha, I'm an alpha female. I got my education. I got my money. I got my, my, my interests. I got, I'm a, I'm a good traditional, good God fearing Christian. And I've got my own business and I've got my, uh, everything that everybody told me the old set of rules. And in this case, they're the gynocentric set of rules, everything that they told me that I should do. And yet I, I'm 35, 36 years old. And where's my man? How come he's not on my doorstep? How come he's not? How come they're not forthcoming? I've, I'm still good looking. No, you're not. Not as much as you were when you were in 25. But where is he? What, what do I have to do? Blah, 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 blah. Well, first off, you're not going to get the guy who you think is above you, better than you. At least not socioeconomically speaking anyways. I don't need a man. I want a man. Now suddenly they need a man. How do I get the guy that I need? Okay, well, you'll have to like learn. You have to get, get in touch with your feminine side. <laughs> what we've been telling guys since like the, the early 70s. Oh, you need to express your emotions and get in touch with your feminine side. Guys, you need to be more emotive and you need to identify more with women because that's then you're going to fuck this macho stuff. You need to be more of a, of a well-rounded good. You need to be more like a woman, basically. Well, guess what? We've masculinized women for so long that now we need to say, ladies, you need to get in touch with your feminine side. And the problem with that is that when I say, well, you know, you need to like reconnect with your feminine side, you need to be more feminine, whatever, you know, however that works out for you and your personality. And maybe it's maybe at 36 years old, you can't teach a Donald dog new tricks, right? But if you can, you need to get in touch with your feminine side. Well, what does that mean, Rolla? What do I have to do? I have to be submissive. I have to be wear dresses. I have to, you know, learn to cook. I have to learn to clean. I have to want, learn to fuck. I got to put on lingerie. I want to. I don't wear dresses. I wear pants. Well, you mean I got to do that? Yeah. I mean, behaviorally, those are the out. But you, you got to want to do that. That's the problem. Is like it's the desire to want to do that in the first place, and that's the thing is women simply lack the desire. I'm not changing for any man. Fuck him. He's going to change for me, or else he's not marriageable. He's not the right guy for me. If he doesn't accept me the way I am, well, you're going to be alone. <laughs> but the, the 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 truth of it is, is like you need to learn to become more feminine. However, that shakes out for you well what are you saying i have to be i have to dumb myself down for these that's what it, that's the problem and that's what i was getting at is whenever i say women need to get in touch with their feminine side and they need to learn to be women like traditionally conventionally female that sounds like making yourself dumb to get with a guy and that goes against everything gynocentrism and feminism has taught women for the last 70 years the prime directive of feminism is this, never do anything for the express pleasure of a man, never. Because once you do, you go against the strong, independent woman narrative. That's the way it works out. 